Hello and thank you for joining me for another episode of Run Level Zero. Today we're looking at Point Linux Mate 2.3. But before we get started, I need to say a very special thank you to one of my viewers, uh, Lupa Nira, I hope, I hope I'm saying that right, has created this custom graphic for the channel. I could not have asked for a better custom graphic, folks. I really love this thing. It's my favorite color combination. That black and, and green, love it. Has my uh, show title up here, Run Level Zero, Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. And it has my name here, uh, In It Zero. That's me. In case you were wondering, the show was Run Level Zero. I am In It Zero. But I love this graphic. Uh, thank you so very much. So head over to the channel. Check it out. It's the, the show is wearing the new graphic now. All right, let's get right into it. Point Linux 2.3. This is one that uh, has been requested a couple of times. This is a Debian based Linux distribution optimized for desktops. Let's begin here at the website. Um, whenever you are considering a Linux distribution, whether it's for your home, for your, just your personal use, or home office, a production environment, there are a couple of things that you need to take into consideration you know what skill level does the OS require sure but you also need to look at what is the operating system based on you need to take a look at the at the distro itself and at its history you know if, if you're looking for a distribution that you're just going to use at home check your email surf the net you can be a little more loose and a little more experimental with your choices but when you're looking at a production or even a home office environment something you're going to have to depend on you want to choose a Linux distribution that is well established. Unfortunately, many distros pop up and they burn out quickly due to lack of interest or lack of support or for whatever reason. Point Linux has actually been around for a while and it's based on Debian, which is one of the oldest Linux distributions and it's noted for its stability. So this is really going to be appropriate if you're do using this for a home office or a small business. Another thing you want to look at is their documentation. How well documented is the distribution? Well, Point Linux, it gets points, uh, pun intended, because it's based on Debian. And Debian, with the exception of Arch, Debian is one of the most uh, best documented Linux distributions out there. If anything goes wrong in your system, you're going to be able to find the answers in the Debian wiki. But if you go over to pointlinux.org and hit the community tab, you can see that they have lots of support just from Point Linux within their own community. They have an excellent forum system, which should get a moment to open up. So you can come here and post questions and, and be, be sure to search the forums before posting a question. That's just good protocol. See if somebody has already answered your questions out there before asking a new one. And they also have an excellent set of manuals and how-tos. And these will walk you through release notes, installation, how to configure your system. So just basic things that you may want to learn how to do in your Point Linux installation you can find that here. Also, let's take a look at these release notes because something that really impressed me about Point Linux, when you go to the release notes, and this seems simple, I know, but this, this is something I look for in a distro. I really like how they have a simple to the point cut sheet that shows what the distro is all about just at a glance. You don't have to go digging through the website to find out, okay, what's it based on? you know what changes have been made everything is right here at your fingertips so the purpose of Point Linux is it is a desktop PC distro the target audience is experienced users and business slash IT sector now that's important because I do not recommend Point Linux for a beginning user and there are you know it with a couple small tweaks it would be appropriate for a beginning user but as it sits, I do agree. More experienced users will really enjoy Point Linux. 
Okay, so it is based on Debian 7.4 Wheezy, which is the stable release of Debian Wheezy. It is running kernel 3.2.04. It's not the most up-to-date uh, kernel, but it is stable. One thing about running Debian, uh, especially Debian Stable or Wheezy at this time, you're sacrificing cutting edge and gaining stability. So no, it does not have bleeding edge software and the software may be a little behind the times, but you know it's going to be rock solid and just stable. It's not going to let you down. So uh, let's go over and take a look at this. We are looking at the Mate desktop. The desktop environment is Mate 1.4.2, which is a continuation of the GNOME 2 uh, desktop environment. So it is decidedly Linux. Uh, this desktop environment, in fact, when I got started, this was my first desktop environment. So here we go. Uh, for those of you that have been around in Linux, if you're a more experienced user, this is like a sweet homecoming. You know, the, the Mate desktop is going to be very comfortable for you. But even if you are a newer user, you're going to find that this is a lightweight, fast desktop environment that is easy to navigate. It's layout, the, the way the menus are set up, everything just makes sense. So let's take a tour and see what we get. We have one primary desktop here, but in the lower right hand corner, you have a pager that is set up with four virtual desktops. The lower left hand corner of the bottom bar is a show desktop button. Any open applications will be displayed in the central portion of this bottom bar. On the desktop, you have a shortcut to your home folder and the trash. It has a plain vanilla but a pleasing wallpaper installed. Right clicking on the desktop, you can opt to choose the or change the desktop background. But you'll see you have only a few set by default. You have a plain blue or a blue gray there. There's a small slideshow and the default wallpaper. Not bad very much appropriate for a uh, small business home office you can see from themes you only have a couple to choose from but you can customize it how you like the bar across the top beginning in the upper right hand corner you have your power button that will allow you to hibernate restart shut down the calendar and clock battery monitor if applicable network connections volume manager and your notification area. On the left hand side is the uh, email client which is Thunderbird by default here. Firefox is the default web browser. Uh, you have a system menu. The system menu will give you access to your system's preferences. This is just where you're gonna, it's just a standard run-of-the-mill uh, preferences menu. Uh, nothing special here. You can set your appearance, flash player settings, uh, your monitor settings are here, mouse, network connections, and so forth. Under the administration menu, Gparted is installed, as well as the Synaptic Package Manager. And this is one of the main reasons why I would not recommend this for a beginning user. It's not that this is a particularly difficult system to use, but the package manager is Synaptic and Synaptic is full featured it is an advanced package manager but it is not very beginner friendly a beginning user I believe would become quickly uh, frustrated trying to use Synaptic so take that for what it's worth alright going back down you also have a help icon about Mate and this is running the Mate desktop environment 1.4.2. Uh, you can lock the screen, log out and shut down also from the system menu. Moving along we have the places menu which will give you a shortcut to your home folder, your desktop, your computer which would be the root here which will allow you to access the root of any of your drives. Uh, you have access to your network connections you can connect to a server, search for files, and any recent documents that you may have opened. The Applications menu 
Under accessories, we have the archive manager, of course, calculator. Pluma is the text editor. I like Pluma. It's a nice one. You can open a root terminal, search for files, take a screenshot, or, of course, just a regular terminal. For graphics, we have a PDF viewer, the Eye of Mate image viewer, LibreOffice Draw, and Simple Scan. For Internet, again, we had the Firefox web browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Romania, which is a remote desktop client, Thunderbird for email, and Transmission for BitTorrent. Under Office, you have the full LibreOffice suite installed. Under Sound and Video, uh, Brassero is your uh, optical media burning utility and VLC Media Player. Under System Tools, you have your Configuration Editor, Disk Usage Analyzer, File Browser, uh, GDB Package Installer, Log File Viewer, and System Monitor. So let's pull that open right quick. As you can see right now, we're running at a fairly slim 265 megabytes of RAM. And as usual, this is running in a virtual, two gigs of RAM and two dedicated processors. I do that to all my virtuals anytime I do a review just to make sure everything is running from a, an even platform. And 265 meg is fairly slim as far as Linux desktop environments go. So this would be appropriate for new as well as older hardware. Now a note about the installer, the installer has been overhauled and we want to take a moment to take a peek at that right quick. The installer for Point Linux is fairly straightforward and easy to navigate as far as uh, Linux installers go. There are a couple of things that I wanted to show you here. It does a great job at detecting your partitions and is fairly easy to set up. You are going to want to make sure that you detect or you select rather uh, which partition you want to use as your root partition. Select your mount point as root and your uh, format. New to this installer are these advanced options. You have the option to select a few packages here to install. So I'm going to choose to install Compass Window Manager because I like a little bit of eye candy. You can also select to enable the Debian backport updates and there is a warning that it will reduce stability somewhat. And you can enable Point Linux non-free repos. So I'm going to select those two options. Click forward and install. And it's just that easy. Okay, let's get back to the review. So you can see that I actually opted to do a couple of the custom installation options there. I opted to enable the non-free repositories uh, for things such as Flash Player and Codex, although Mate does come, or, or Point Linux rather, does come with a Flash plugin already installed. But if you want access to any of those non-free codecs, you're going to have to uh, enable or install those non-free repositories. I also opted to install Compass to get a little bit of eye candy going there. So let's take a look and see if it really did that. Now I have opened a terminal and nanoed the Etsy app sources.list file. These are your repositories and as you can see non-free has been enabled. However, let's close this out. One of the things that is missing, if we go down to preferences, there's nothing here for compass. And if we go back over to Synaptic Package Manager, let's open that up right quick. And if we search for Compass, you can see Compass has not been installed. So it looks like their custom installation might need a little bit of tweaking. Now it's no big deal. This is uh, uh, aimed at a more advanced user and you can just opt to install it right here if you so choose. But I don't know, I, I just uh, that kind of bugs me a little bit. I just kind of wish that that would have just worked. But it's really no big deal you know, for a more advanced user. Just wanted to point that out to you. But all told, I have been very, very pleased with Point Linux. It's not that there's anything flashy about it, but it's it's the simplicity and the straightforward nature of Point Linux that really, 
really appeals to me. I find it very refreshing, honestly. It is a solid, stable, no frills Debian desktop. And for a home office for a student or a small business use, you know, Point Linux really could be the way to go for you. I mean, it has everything that you need installed for daily operations and nothing that you don't. So I don't think you'll find it lacking in, on any front. And it, you know, with with Synaptic installed for you and ready to go, I mean, anything that, that you may want to install later, any customizations you want to do, like Compass, you can do easily and get it up and running. So really, I have no complaints there. So yes, I do highly recommend Point Linux. I've been very happy with it. But again, only for a more intermediate or advanced user. I do not recommend this for a beginner simply because of Synaptic. So there you have it. Please download it. Give me a try. Let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for joining me today. And I hope to be with you soon for another video.